a sudden, life is just a game for Drew Carey. Two weeks ago, he was talking to us about becoming the new host of The Price is Right. And tonight on CBS, he premieres a new game show, The Power of Ten, where contestants can win up to $10 million. What percentage of Americans have spent more than $100 on a pair of jeans? What percentage of Americans have spent more than $100 on a pair of jeans? We're putting 10 seconds on your clock. Your time starts now. Nine seconds. I've, 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 I always spend more than $100 on a pair of jeans because I have to use more material. <laughs> Can we, they can't see what each other are doing. You only have one second left. Okay, but we both locked in. Jamie, you went really low, 19%. You must know a lot of poor college kids or something. <laughs> Repertoire. I know, it's amazing. It's crazy, isn't it? That I'm Mr. Game Show all of a sudden? It's, it is. You're like America's game show host now. No, great. The, yeah, wow. <laughs> Just what you aspire to. I aspire to. No. Well, you know what? You, I used to think that. I used to think, like, oh, great, game show king. And then when yeah. I thought about it, I thought, you know, you're just giving away prizes all day and making everybody happy. Right. It's a really good way to make a living. So I really can't complain. I think it's a really, honestly, it, my whole take on it has turned around now. Now I think it, you couldn't do better. And here's a car, here's some money. And it's not even your money. Yeah, that's so the best part. you're giving away money and getting credit for it. I feel like a congressman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a junior Ted Stevens. Oh, jeez. <laughs> now, you were here a couple of weeks ago to talk about becoming the new host of The Price, Price is, right. is Right, which yeah. is so fantastic. Yeah. Has that all kind of sunk in yet? Because it happened pretty quickly. Yeah, no, I've, I've already been on the stage, and I've been playing the games and rehearsing and stuff, and um, now it's sunk in. The, the staff's been really nice to me, and you talk about a great place to work. It's like such good energy there in that stage, because yeah. all people do is win and have joy, and it's like soaked into every chair and every piece of wood oh. all that happiness so you walk in you're like ah what a great place to come to work yeah right. the staff is like that and uh yeah it's uh, it's uh, finally sunk in and you had a chat we're able to chat with bob barker i had lunch right? with him last week yeah really how, how did it go what did you guys talk about here's uh we talked about all kinds of things we talked about like spain neutering pets believe it or not we yeah. talked about that for a lot you are know, you going to use that for yeah your i'm still going to do that at the end yeah are you going to keep that tradition yeah it takes that's... two seconds and it's part of the show so it'd be it would be a mistake not to i think that's that's really cool that you're doing. I yeah. think he was pretty pretty happy to hear that. Yeah, he you was were gonna happy. keep his closing and line. I mean it only takes a second. I'm not you know they, I'm not gonna there's really nothing really big gonna change about the show at all. Mm -hmm. Like they still have uh, I've been I've been telling this story in interviews, but they Price is Right is not a show about change, let me tell you. Sure. The two Absolutely. producers were talking and you know they have this game Golden Road where they have these big golden spots that you walk across to get to the different prizes and it's a really famous game. And the one producer says, you know, we should have a carpet there instead of the spots. And the other guy goes, yeah, maybe we can do that this year. Like, that's their idea of... <laughs> <laughs> Change. Wow. Yeah. The producer Ooh. of the show doesn't own a cell phone. You're kidding. No, Bob Barker wow. doesn't own a cell phone or a computer. Uh, did he give you any advice? Uh, yeah, just to be myself and do my show. But mostly when you'd ask him about the show, he'd go, hey, I'm retired. <laughs> that's your job. Who? That's out of, my, it's out of my hands now. He's, Don't call me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like every other retired guy. I don't know if you ever know anybody who just retired. And yeah. They're like, Whoop. Yeah. I got to run the factory themselves now. Right. That's what he was like. Was that really, doesn't last long though, yeah, with some people. It was really funny. Now tell me about the power of ten, which is fantastic. This which, show is crazy. It's the, crazy. The segment you were watching—that's the very first contestants on the very first show. Mm -hmm. uh, by the time it was all over, the crew—I'm I'm talking about like the production crew. Right. We're screaming and yelling so much that the director couldn't hear in the booth and he had to ask him to be quiet. Now give people the premise of how it works. Um, it's the biggest funny game show on TV. You can get, we can win up to $10 million. It's called The Power of Ten because we start you out with $1,000 mm -hmm. and every time you win, we times it by 10. Right, it goes up. 1,000, 10,000, then you play for 100, then a million, and then 10 million. You get five steps to get to $10 million, and that's it. And they ask America these questions, Yeah, we right? take these Survey? huge, like you know how expensive these polls are when you do them on the news. Right, right. And you're only asking 1,500 people, or we ask thousands and thousands of people. And our polling sample is uh, an exact uh, demographic representation of the United States, state mm -hmm. by state. It's right. a scientific poll. You can look it up at cbs.com, all the methodology. And, uh, so it's, it's how many Americans think X? What and percentage they have to of Americans? Yeah, and right. we ask. Um, the one was about what percentage of Americans have ever bought a pair of jeans that cost more than a hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, we also ask, uh, like, kind of edgy questions. On the pilot, we asked, uh, what percentage of white Americans said they would never vote for an African American for president? 
Were you surprised by a lot of the answers? It was 18%. I thought mm. it was going to be lower. Mm -hmm. And then my yeah. friends in LA, when I had my liberal friends in LA, I'd ask them and they, they would guess 60%. 50%. I was like, really? That's what you think of America? Yeah. Like, that's the thing that's hard about this game is it's going to shake all your perceptions about what you think those people in Idaho think or those New right, Yorkers think. Exactly. Or those weirdos in L.A. think. Right. Because it's all of America and you have to, like, adjust and, and realize there's other people besides you and your friends. So that have interesting. An yeah. Yeah. And, then, you and know, fun at the same time. Lou Dobbs was on just yeah, now. Yeah, right. I, I missed saying hello to him, but the, one of the questions was what percentage of Americans would call the police if they saw a Mexican immigrant crossing the border. So interesting. 69%. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you think it would be that high? Right. I thought it would be like 10%. It's a lot of food for thought on this show. And yeah. you have a great time. And, and silly and questions like the jeans and you know right. stuff like that, lifestyle questions. Right. There's one coming up tomorrow. What, what percentage of Americans... Oh, we have to wrap. I'm sorry. <laughs> what percentage oh. of Americans would rather watch a hot dog eating contest than a 2008 presidential debate? Oh, come on. What's the answer? We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Carey, thanks, thanks very so much. much. Good tease there thanks, yeah, on the you. show. That's The Power of Ten, which premieres tonight at 8, 7 Central. And then on Wednesday, you can see the answer to that question on The Power of Ten at its regular time, 8 p.m., 7 Central, right here on CBS. How about Drew Carey? Yeah!